Hello out there. This is GZ and your overlord Desiran, and welcome back to World's End Club. <laughs> okay, so we're back in and we're going camping. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, talk to everyone, of course. Alright. Nyoro. I'm gonna stop Mike from getting its way. That's my father's wish. So don't worry, Dad. Oh, maybe I could have read these ones. <sighs> What's up, Nyoro? Why the long face, huh? It's just... I've been looking at this photo I took with my dad ages ago. My dad used to smile all the time. Hmm. Who's that little pipsqueak? That's me, when I was seven. Huh? You're wearing glasses. And? Well, what's wrong with that? N nothing nothing's wrong with it, but... You just look so different now. Because of my dad, I used to read loads of books. So, my eyesight got pretty bad. But what about now? I wear contacts now. I can barely see a thing without them. Ha! Ah, so you're another four eyes like Tatsun! <sighs> oh boy. Yikes! You trying to get yourself killed? Don't you like girls who wear glasses? No, you've got it wrong. With or without glasses, I think you're amazing. <laughs> I figured you might say something like that. <sighs> if we defeat Mike and save my father, I wonder if he'll smile like he used to. Hmm. Could be that going through all this crap, humanity might actually pull itself together. I wonder if everyone will do that. Mr. Poji, are you okay? Mike is your master, so to speak. Aren't you afraid to fight it? No, not even slightly. Because I've got everyone with me, you included, Yuki. I... I'll be of any use, but I'm gonna give it my all. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. Everyone's gonna do it. I'm calling it now. If we combine our forces, defeating Mike's gonna be a walk in the park. Mike's like. Put us through so many horrible things. For everyone all over the world, we've got to take Mike out. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. That thing about getting brainwashed in the pods and it wearing off if we were in danger. Was that all a lie? Why did Mike lie to us about that? It didn't interrupt during the fate game. Hmm. This is just a guess, but... Maybe it was hoping our powers would get awakened during the fate game? It said that when our altruistic impulses reached their critical mass and erupted, we'd find our powers. So, if someone got into a tough spot during the fate game... Oh my god! I don't care what happens to me! I gotta, like, save them! Mike was probably expecting those kind of situations. Yeah, maybe. Ugh! This is super frustrating! Feels like Mike had us in the palm of its hand! But not for much longer. This time, Mike's gonna be the one in our hands. 
right. You just wait, Mike. The tables are about to be turned. Flippity flop. <laughs> Yep. All right, Aniki, what do you got? Now that we're finally at this stage, my heart's really pounding. I can't believe that chump <coughs> tried to use us. Getting smart with us. I'm going to make sure Mike gets what's coming to it. Uh-huh. Sure, Aniki. Sure. I don't know why, it's just nice getting to see that. <laughs> Once we defeat Mike, we can go back to living like we did before. Right? Going to school together? Yeah, for sure. If that's the case, we can give it another go, right? Huh? The school trip! We can all visit Kamakura together! I mean, yeah, I suppose you got a point there. Tatsun. So we're finally what do you gonna got? make it into the enemy base. I guess there's gonna be hordes of enemies waiting for us. <sighs> this is just me trembling with excitement. Defenders of justice aren't daunted by evil. Mike referred to you as PCH01. What does that mean? It's my model number. PCH stands for Plenipotentiary Chaperoning Humanoid. They're pretty long words, and I'm not entirely sure what they mean. But I think it means that I'm a human-shaped robot designed to observe and think for myself. The other robots are completely under Mike's control, but I'm different. Mike gave me the ability to make my own decisions. Mike trusted you, didn't it? Yeah, it probably did. But not anymore. I know that. You may be a PCH still, but the meaning has changed. Perfect champion friend. Th thanks, Tatsun. But friend begins with an F. long journey but it's almost over Mike the thing that stole humanity's spirit we're gonna defeat it ourselves and bring back joy to the world I'll bet that's what my sister would have wanted too I get the feeling this isn't going to be hey, that simple Hochi, Mike called Rachel RCH E10, right? That's Rachel's model number. RCH stands for Radio Controlled Humanoid. I think that part's self explanatory. E is for experimental. That's because Rachel was an experiment. Rachel was controlled by me. He didn't have free will. Now he's broken. Are you blaming yourself? Hmm. But if Rachel hadn't stepped in to save us, we might not have made it. <sighs> My beloved Hoseki Zuka Theater Group has a saying. He loved everyone. So everyone loved him. Hochi, let's take down Rachel's enemies. We can avenge him. 
If we do that, he'll definitely... <sighs> yeah, I know. Somehow, I wonder. I get the feeling there's something more there. Tomorrow we face off against Mike, right? I'm gonna roast my coal with my flames of love! Huh? Where are you aiming that love? That's... Jeez, Chuko. All right, Kansai. You just wait, Mike, you scumbag! Cause we're gonna come fight you and pummel you into the dust with a hundred kicks! If we save the world, we're gonna be heroes! <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. So, Mike said that Rachel was an experimental version, right? Yeah, he was built before me. He's a really old model. Rachel couldn't think or move by himself. Ah, so the fact Rachel never said anything... Yep, it's because he's an experimental model. Rachel didn't have any speech functionality. Ah. When we were fighting over who got to be leader, we argued a bunch. But he never said a word! Wait, 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 wait. So... Okay. That actually answers something I was curious about. So, you're telling me this entire time, since you've known him, when he was transferred in, he never spoke a single word, ever, and no one found that odd. Like, I mean, you they could have at least made up the thing that he was, like, mute or something, but... No. It's just... No one questioned it. <laughs> Pochi! Let's finish Mike off once and for all! I'm not gonna forgive anyone who upsets Nyoro! So? Oh, boy. Mochan, you need to calm down, buddy. All right, there you have it. Next. <clears throat> hey guys, can I ask you something? Going to take down Mike. That was a unanimous decision, right? But where exactly is it? Ah, now that you mention it, the thing we saw on the school roof seemed like an illusion, didn't it? I know where to go. One of the Panopticons? Yep. Mike's mainframe is stored inside the Tokyo Panopticon. So we've got to get inside and destroy it. We can defeat Mike, right? Yeah, and at the same time, we should be able to deactivate the nanomachines inside everyone's brains. But how are we gonna get there? That's easy! We can get there in that! Oh, right! The UFO! Pochi, you know everything about Mike, right? No, not everything. I didn't know about Nero's father. Or the surgery in the pods. And Mike mentioned a subject, right? That was the first I'd heard about that, too. The girl Mike was studying, right? Yeah. Anyway, the only things I knew about were the sheepification project, this trip, and Mike's whereabouts. I based my strategy on all the information I had. Strategy? A strategy for taking down Mike. My idea was for us to all go to the Panopticon together. With you all awakened and powerful after the journey. 
That was my plan. I'd be no match for Mike alone. That's why I needed your guys' strength. When you think about it, most of the way my intentions were the same as Mike's. We both wanted to awaken your special abilities. Wait, so you decided to disobey Mike before the trip even began, huh? Yeah, all the time I spent with you guys. How should I say it? I realized how amazing humans were. Thank you, Pochi! Eat up, Pochi! Looking forward to it, Pochi. And that's what's so cute about you, Pochi. Me and you, huh, Pochi? We're the same, huh, Pochi? If you insist, I'll hold you to it. Pochi, you're so kind. I love your smile, Pochi. The reason I thought that was because you guys still had your emotions. That's when I realized I had to stop Mike's plan at any cost. <sighs> oh. But why didn't you tell us the truth before? Well, for one, I didn't want Mike to find out. Mike said that it'd wipe out the human race if its plan failed. Uh, no, but... But... aren't you spilling the beans right now? Y yeah what if Mike hurt us? Even if it did, it's no big deal. At this stage, I don't think Mike would be so quick to annihilate humanity. After all, it's gone to the trouble of awakening all your powers. That'd all be for nothing, right? A shepherd is nothing without a flock. Is that what you mean? Yeah. But... We've been saying we're gonna take down Mike! If Mike somehow overheard us... At the very least, we'd lose the element of surprise. Mike must have some strong defenses set up. And what does that have to do with anything? If we combine our strength, we'll definitely be able to take down Mike. Yeah. We can win this! Totally! Let's win this thing together! Together, we're invincible! That scumbag Mike! We're gonna bait it into submission! We're gonna crush it! Just to make sure, we're gonna head to the Panopticon tomorrow, right? Yeah. We should get a good night's sleep before the final battle. Final battle? Huh? Looks like we're in for a tough fight. If we're not all in this together, it doesn't seem like we've got a chance. I think we need a strong leader. Didn't we already decide that? That's... Kansai's leader badge. When I met Neon in Kyoto, I took the badge off, right? And I kept it safe. I figured we'd be in trouble if we lost it. Mm, I get what you're saying. So what? You're the one who deserves to wear the badge, Pochi. Huh? Rachel saved our bacon time and time again. But... It was you controlling him all alone. In other words, we owe our lives to you, Pochi. You're our hero, Mr. Pochi. Totally! You're the only one who can lead us. There's no one more qualified than you, Pochi. How about it? You gonna accept the role? Nah, we've already decided. He's got no right to refuse. Guys... Well then, you're now the leader of the Go-Getters Club. I present you with this badge. Hmm. <laughs> ah!
<laughs> it's a gift for those times you saved us. Uh, uh. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. So shameful! Totally disgraceful. What are you guys talking about? It's no big deal. You say that, but look how much you're blushing. Well, it's a little. You think so too, right, Mochan? Oh, yeah, Mochan. <laughs> You like Nyoro, don't you? <laughs> well, oh no, he's dead. Outside. Hey, don't do that! Anyways, tomorrow is the big day. The day we take down Mike! Uh, I see a problem, though. Hey, Kansai, what are you doing trying to wrap things up? Pochi's the leader now. We've literally just decided. Oh, yeah. I'm counting on you, Pochi. Uh, okay. Well, then, here we go. Go Getters Club! Hey, hey, oh! Hmm. I get the feeling you might actually. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to lead to, like, the true ending or not. Act. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start. And we'll stop when we get to the point where it's, um... Where it's, uh, actually action. mainframe is deep inside here, right? Yep, in the Panopticon Central Control Room. So this is the start again. I hope you're ready for us, Mike! Cause I'm gonna come and stick my boot where the sun don't shine! I'm not really sure that'll work with Mike. I don't think it has a... Yeah, yeah, Kansai. Whatever! I'm gonna beat the stuffing out of it! <sighs> this is so exciting! Oh, I never thought I'd hear that from timid little Mocha. My timid days are over! That's the spirit. I knew we could count on you, Mochan. Hey! Like, something weird's going on. Now that you mention it, we haven't come across a single enemy. Perhaps. <laughs> huh? Anyway, let's keep moving forward. The central control room. I get the feeling there are two things missing. There's two things missing for us to succeed. One is actually having Rachel with us. Two. So vanilla. This is where like Mike's physically is. vanilla. I think it's behind that door. But I might be wrong. Everyone ready? Yeah. All right then. Let's do this. Yellow no loon. Oh, Long time here we no go. seafood allergies. That's right. It's yours truly, Penelope. <sighs> Guys, let's hop to it and go defeat Mike. Yeah, let's go. Wait a sec. How dare you ignore me? What, loser? You're about as persistent as our vice principal telling his watermelon thief story. I don't give a crap. 
Well, the vice principal's watermelon thief story is that... I'm not asking! What are you doing here, then? Oh, I get it. You come here to ask Mike about getting a raise. Maybe you're trying to negotiate shorter working hours? Hey! We treat our workers fairly! If that's the case, then why are you here? That should be obvious. This is Mike's home turf. Anyway, for you sneaky intruders, I've got a punishment in store. And for the traitor Pochi, something extra extra special <laughs> that said i'm no fool either i know that in a fair fight i'm no match for you all now which is why this isn't going to be a fair fight I think you can guess what happened. Recording ran way too long. I had to split it in two. This would have been like over an hour long episode. So, oh boy. But a lot happens. So, you know. Either way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more. And share it with everyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. And I'm playing World's End Club via the Nintendo Switch if you do want to check it out for yourself. Also, check out links in the description for Zishima. She's a great friend, an amazing artist, and she's the one who talked me into playing World's End Club. So thank you so much for that. I've been having a blast with it. Link in the description there for her Twitch channel. Go check her out. You won't regret it. And in the next part, well... Oh boy, things are going to get crazy. I'm just going to say that. Things are going to get crazy. So until then, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day. And I'll see ya.